What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of J Plays. I am Jay Wright and I want to thank you all so much for joining me for a new subscriber pick game. That's right, Katie Cat has came in with a suggestion, Life is Strange. Well actually, Katie Cat was told by her friend to check out that we should check out Life is Strange. That's a first for us. So another groundbreaking day for us here on J Plays. But thank you both for checking out, uh, suggesting this game. It's a game I've heard of and I've seen video clips from, but I've never played myself, but I've heard great things and I'm actually super excited to kind of check it out because I love narrative games. So what do we know about Life is Strange? Well, Steam tells us, follow the story of Max Colfield, a photography senior who discovers she can rewind time while saving her best friend, Chloe Price. The pair soon find themselves investigating the mysterious disappearance of fellow student, Rachel Amber, uncovering a dark side to life in Arcadia Bay. Meanwhile, Max must quickly learn that changing the past can sometimes lead to a devastating future. Yeah, time rewind, too, way, way too powerful a power to have for anybody. Honestly, I just got more excited from reading that synopsis because it reminds me of that old show Twin Peaks that I never finished but I got really far into and that was a super, super fun TV show. And I mean, Deadly Premonition was a horror take on Twin Peaks, I thought anyway, so I love that. So I'm sure I'll love this too. Again, thank you so much, Kitty Cat, for recommending this game as well as thank you to your friend. Thank you all out there who are tuning in to watch this episode. And without further ado, let's take on Life is Strange. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. This is not the game for me because as we've seen in other games, I am terrible at decisions. I always seem to pick the wrong door or the door with the demon behind it. Well, hello, Mother Nature. I wonder if kids still do that, like wear rubber bands of multicolor on their wrists. I'm sure that's still a trend, right? I know when I was in school, that was definitely a thing that a lot of people did. Not a lot of people, certain groups of people. What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? All good questions. Okay, so obviously she went from not knowing where she was to recognizing the lighthouse. I'm going to explore, even though we're in the middle of a storm that seemed to want to kill us. I want to make sure we don't miss anything right off the bat. I don't want to be one of those games where, hey, you could have got a perfect perfect ending if you had gotten, I don't know, collectible A at the very beginning of the game. Can't seem to run. The game looks really unique. Like, it's got a very, it's got a style that's definitely all its own. Kind of reminds me of a... Was it Firewatch? Over, Overwatch? The firefighter? Not firefighter. He's a park ranger who had to uh, overwatch the uh, campground. And it all burned down. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Except we're not first person. Oh, what the hell is that? not normal. Okay, see? That to me would be what part of my nightmare. I don't like big waters anyway. So to see a giant twister in the middle of one... I'd be done with. I would curl, curl up in a ball somewhere and I'd give up. Look at that thing. That is terrifying, man. I'm sorry. I'm 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 completely like. Look at that thing. Holy shit. What does her shirt say? Does it say alone? My gosh! Look at that thing. Ooh. Ooh. That was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Bueller. Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Oh, what's this? Because of her images of, look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. No, I get it. It's very artistic. You looking at a bunch of photographs, right? I mean, that's what you're going for, right? Looking at moments of time. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. 
She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any. He's getting fired after this class. And capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you. I could can't believe I me. still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. What if I can tell you got the Polaroid camera, though. Polaroid cameras are making a comeback. Your innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So. She could I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Uh, should we look at that right now? I'm a big fan of her work. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. Aim. At selfie quota. I don't want to yet. It was honesty about the economic. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh my gosh! They would think this is a lot to read, and I'm not gonna do it. But we want to know the story. Here we go. July 10th, 2013. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares? Because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I'd be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say sorry. Thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. When I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. Oh, I'm happy she's happy. So this is it, August 18, 2013. I had just graduated. Barely. Yeah, so this is it. Wait, no, that's not true. That's not true. Is that true? No, it was like a year before that. Okay, so this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back in the town. I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along. Just to Is this a thing? Before we continue on, is it a thing for people to leave their homes to go to a high school somewhere else? Like, I get rich people sending off their kids because they don't want their kids around them. I don't get it, but I see how they have the money to do that. But a normal kid just being like, I'm going to apply to a high school away from home and just go there? I've never met these people. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. I love Seattle. Such a great city. When we would pay, play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. Okay, but Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. Oh, insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my class boy classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. Oh dear. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Mmm. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room, though I caught mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat, and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arm. Sensing the universe opening up for me, I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Sounds like somebody struggling to fit in, but I guess she literally said that. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Woo! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine and never want to leave. So she's getting a dorm room in high school. Could you imagine the trouble you would get into in a dorm room in a high school? Like, forget college. College is already, you know, way out there because you're by yourself for the first time. But if you are high school, if you're 14, 15 years old and you get your own room and you're just surrounded by a bunch of other people your age, it'd be an awesome time. Uh, my shit is in boxes all over the room. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole, I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my door mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. Me and you both. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. 
Blackwell sucks ass. Damn, that changed up. It was the next day. Oh, it's new, it's new day jitters. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa, and how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. As if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Uh, like Zoe 101 for artiste. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it'd be easier being back. Call the Womulence. I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Huh? There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. The next day, I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least gives us noobs a day to acclimate. Oh, at least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham and he's a serious geek, plus he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought 18, wait a minute, junior year 18. Is that right? Junior year high school, 18? like 18 is more college like going off to college maybe i misread this at least i get to research my fame oh at least i get to research famous photographers for some of my homework mr jefferson assigned us a ton of reading but this is exactly what i want to study jefferson is super cool and super chill he doesn't try to be too hip just says what he thinks and expects us to be as well uh and expects us to as well i think he's a genius oh my god i want to marry him just joking this one class is worth all my social dysfunction Oh my god, so many pages. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teacher's great harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her stop minions still front like their honored guest of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class he put his feet on the desk, started texting and the teacher didn't say Jack. And he does kind of own the school. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the beaches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been stacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photo photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stretch and procrastinate. Shy. Oh, so is that photo that she took of her standing in front of the wall of photos her one photo? She she found a loophole. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my class and to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kinda understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Not how much homework are you avoiding. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? I can't speak. There's too much reading. My brain is just... Happy 18th. October 1st, October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year, I agree, I love watching the leaves change color, me too, turning into tiny flames, it is awesome, but it's still too damn hot, not true, thanks global warming, I don't know about all that, it is global warming, but I don't know if it's that hot in October, Seattle especially not, and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet, soon, Hey, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury, that's, I know, I used to read his books, I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. Isn't that a Korean movie or 
something based in an Asian culture with the students all killing each other. It came before Hunger Games, right? But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party, or is that Backstroke Fest? You so punny, Max. <laughs> I like Max. Max is cool. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world until after college and it just like speeds by. All right, I think that's it. Hello, Max. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll do this over time. We'll read over these people. But for Issues now, let's air. let's see some more game. The beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both beauty were great and chroniclers and tree poet. You dig? I'm just curious how far he will go if I don't now, take this photo. Contrast Frank's stark Americana. Like they gave an actor like actual photos. lecture notes and told him, hey, to go off. He they want to sit there and watch an hour <laughs> and lecture, they can. And his famous self Crazy. Are famous I'm going to take a selfie. Examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. I have a selfie. It's great shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Is it that bad of a word? Of course, selfie. As you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, <laughs> since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know. I, I, I mean, obviously he's asking us. I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? I like Louis him. Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Ugh. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. That one of the rich girls? Is that, is that the girl that you was talking about? The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. You're our enemy now. I want you to know that. You can't see me staring at you, but I'm staring at you. And I want you to know right now, whatever we can do to make sure you end up in the vortex, that's what we're going to do. You can find out anyway, back to class. Uh, oh, look, our selfie. I missed it. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. At least he likes her. It's the teachers that don't say anything to you that you should be worried about. The ones who constantly like pick on you and single you out. Maybe not pick on you, but single you out. They, they probably like you. Just like all things. Just like when you're a kid. School books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. You could go get some brown paper bags and wrap it around your textbook, just like we all used to do. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive, everything. She's gonna be mad if we use it. I'm using it. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Greenlit, huh? With all the speed and power extracted from a new greenlit, the whatever is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have a superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. And it's almost $6,000. We're gonna put that back. That's not for us. That is not where we're at. Where's our Polaroid at? Hello, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Let's be friends. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Is she high? Is Kate high? Why is Kate's eyes looking like that? Hope I didn't embarrass you. About what? You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Victoria's already won. Want to go grab a cup of tea? Tea? I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. Oh. I have to go over homework. Max. No let's hang later. Max Shall threw herself out there, was ready to make a friend, was letting her know, hey, let's go grab coffee like friends do. And then she threw her down. Now she'll never invite anybody else out of her ever again. Ooh, paper ball. I want to throw. I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. Blackwell Academy. What the hell? 
This is Kate right beside us, right? Uh, Kate, you want to talk about the porn video? Let's talk later, Max. Oh, that's probably why she's upset. Maybe she doesn't want to talk about it. I get it. Sometimes we have to have patience when it comes to people's porn videos Obviously, leaking. Obviously, spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Uh, what? What? Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, cool. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just happy there's a black kid. I'm happy there's a black kid in the photography class. There's always one. O2, a quit This month. is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? It's always interesting when you get to listen to somebody who truly has a passion for something. And even though you may not be interested in that subject, their passion is just so contagious that it makes you interested in the subject that you typically would be like, eh. Now, I like photos, it's but I don't cool like shot. it as much as she does. Oh, wait, we can take a photo of this? What does her shirt say? Somebody, Rachel and Amber forever, maybe? I thought you're not supposed to do this. I thought you're not supposed to actually shake the photos. That like was a myth or something like that. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Looks like Roki. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Same as Alan Wake. Hey, so many references to uh, past games we've played. I want this camera. We want it. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. I hope that 20 grand is paying off. Then again, it's not like you can take it over to the afterlife, so might as well. Why is why is she talking to him like this? Stand stand up. Stand up. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Not now. We're right here. Hello. We're in the A B conversation. We will see ourselves in. We will we will talk to. Hello. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Hello. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? That's right. Yes. Cut Kate off. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. Goodbye, Victoria. I let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, okay. Both of these options seems like no. Uh. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. I don't know if we should feel inspired or embarrassed. Uh, we're gonna leave now. Oh, poster. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? Does he think she have really talent? Ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. All right. Well, moving on. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. Wow, this this game definitely has a unique look. Oh my god! Wash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Okay, loving the music. Loving how this is entering. I just realized in my head that we would have been the same age at the same time. Wow. So she's my age now. Okay, where do we go? Where do we? Where should we look? This feels like I'm watching a Netflix show. Like, what's that show that Celia Gomez produced? Uh, 13 Reasons Why. 
Sometimes you gotta pretend like you're talking to somebody, you know? So you just, it just looks like you're busy. Science room. No, we're looking for the bathroom. Hello. Ah, you're one of the mob. Got it. What about Courtney? I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Ah, uh, just the one that wants to fit in with the mob, the mafia. Okay. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Nineteen five five one ten blonde hazel tattoo on calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Well, if you got that close, like, how, how close do you have to get to see somebody's star on their wrist? Respect, classroom, be nice, do your... Okay, y'all are too old for those posters. No, not that poster, the other poster. Okay, or not. Uh, but is it our locker, though? Are they photographers? Should I know those names? Are they famous? Oh, this school is supposed to be diverse. Everybody to me has looked the exact same. Where's the diversity at? Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear that you've said one nice thing about one person we've met so far. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Or not nice thing, just that somebody said something nice to her that she enjoys. Uh, what's going on here? Should we intervene? Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Uh, we will, I'm guessing, when we get time powers. We'll be doing a lot of that. Just over and over and over again. Hey, Halloween party. I wish October would last forever. This is not the game for me, strictly because I click everything. I have a really bad habit of getting lost in a game and just clicking everything. These videos are going to be so long, I can already tell. Well, healthy snacks. I remember when they took all the healthy, I mean, all the fun snacks out of school and all healthiness. At least in my schools. Oh, dude, there's so much to click on. Okay. Principal's office. Hello, Mrs. Grant. I love it. I'm glad that she wasn't the counselor. I just had a feeling. She's so pretty. I hate these posters. So sad. They always make the black woman the counselor. I swear. She's always the guiding force. So glad she's the science teacher. Good to see. Trevor. What's up, Trevor? He's just a boy. Something, something, something. Haven't you heard? Something, something, something. I am not going to be able to keep it with all these names. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Nope, I like Samuel. What up, Sam? Can I call you Sam or Sammy? But I kind of like that about him. Good old Sammy. A good friend, Sammy. Sammy. I really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. I'm like an otter, sadly depressed. Best singer ever in Oregon looking for best guitarist ever to form kick-ass band to take over the world. Contact Steve Hackney. That's cool, man. It's really cool. Too bad we don't play an instrument. At least she hasn't said that they play an instrument. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. They do stomp. And football and basketball and what I'm assuming is soccer. Another sport that was not offered in my school. Rugby was not a thing, but I can see why you would not want kids playing rugby. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. Oh my gosh. He's actually not an ass. Yeah! Go for whatever your name is. I already forgot it. Here's the men. So the girls are usually right. Ah, here we go. All right, bathroom. Finally, that took a hot minute. I think we've heard that same song twice now. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. Isn't it weird that we no longer are allowed to wear wired headphones? Or at least it's not considered cool anymore to wear wired headphones. Like, my little sister told me it's called tethered now. Like, you're tethered like, I don't know, like a dog to a chain or something if you wear wired headphones. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. No, 
okay, well, can't turn that photo in anymore. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. I hate Victoria Chase. Not me, set it on the wall, not me. Okay, I'm no, sure she's a great a girl. Up like this every day. The moth on the bucket? See, that's how I know I don't have the eye, because I, I don't see the photo. What, what's the photo here? Uh, look. Whoa. Where did that butterfly come from? Who knows? Take a photo of it. It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. I swear you're not supposed to do that. It feels almost like a spirit. That's a boy, right? Ain't this the girl's bathroom? What the hell's going on here? Let's go, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around Ooh. with. You get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, yep, saw that going bad. There was no other way for that to go. You can, man, you know when you listen to your parents' dialogue and you're like, man, they talk so old. Like, I can't believe they said that word. Now I'm listening to words that we all said, like, hella. Fuck? And I'm like, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Why do we talk like that? He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Mm. Can you Ooh. give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. There goes our selfie. In black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of the <gasps> images of hopeless. Rewind. Oh, snap. How far back can we go? I'm going all the way back to the beginning. This is so cool. This is the craziest power of all time. I want my selfie back on my table. Get it back to the table. Here it comes. I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. Black and white. That's cool. Anybody? Me. Me. Max. Don't freak out. Oh man. Go back. I want to answer the question. I want to answer the question. Keep it together, Max. Anybody? Me. How do I answer the question? And children. She's Just raising her hands and answering that right. question. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. <laughs> a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Oh, he did, she didn't know that girl? Always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I thought, it was, I thought she saved her best friend or something. Check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to I the first can. self portraits. Oh no, wait, give the end. Oh my gosh, I feel sick. I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. Just answer the question. The process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck I try to rewind. Zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again Bulgarian process and give him the right answer? Okay, I was trying to do that. I... 
We already knew to do that, but okay, that's fine. We'll go back. We'll go back. Here's the thing about rewinding time. Hold RT to rewind faster. Ooh. That's cool. You can play it. Can, can you play it? Are we good? Uh. Max. Since you've captured our interest, we'll see those like cancer cells approaching. Please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits. Uh, the Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Thank you. We study. We, we, we study. We're pretty the cool. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subject. Look at that look she's giving. What's up? Well, I'll look too. You oh, you don't want to look no more, huh? Actually, finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. Thank you. I, hey guys, I, hey, no reason to call us out. We just do what we do. We show up to class and we make people proud. That's it's nice. Exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. I need a hero! Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. You're welcome, Kate. Here's the thing about this whole time travel thing after we talk to him, see if anything different comes up Excuse this time. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. Bye, Victoria. I let one of photography's future... I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. I respect that. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Uh, press LB to quickly undo your previous action using the rewind. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that, okay, this time function is actually really, really cool. I'm gonna go back before that moment. Your la la latest action is represented by a mark on the gauge. Okay. Hey. Excuse me. Let one of photography's future stars avoid. This is cool. This is actually a really cool mechanic. Uh. Oh, <laughs> John Lennon said. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that <gasps> life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Again, we just do what we do. You don't have to single us out. You know, we just like to read John Lennon on the side. We are incredible right now. Anyway, the thing about time travel to me that's so odd is that she's rewinding time, but the people around here don't know that they're being rewinded or fast forwarded. So it's like, are those the same people? They'll think I'm crazy. Like, are they, um, are they being rewound? And thus, their life really means nothing because it all revolves around her life, technically. Or is she like leaving her line of life and entering a new line of life every time she rewinds? Yo, Daniel, you remember that it's payday? Okay, too bad we can't help that just yet, but we will. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Every step? I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't. Come on, put Here we go. Down. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. I hold on. A hammer? To break it open. A hammer? Are you kidding me? I'm going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. She's going to die. She's not going to make it. She's not. Grab the. Grab the. Oh! You are not affected by the rewrite. You retain facts and inventory objects. That's crazy. It means nobody else's life really matters, man. She truly is like central. Unless she's moving into another line of life. 
Has to be. That's the only way this would work. Another shitty day. You gonna run out with the gun? You might want to put that somewhere. Just running out what with the piece like that. Happen? This cannot be real. We're amazing. We're heroes. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? What about our picture? Hello. Do not freak out. Hello. Mr. Butterfly, I was going to try and take a photo of you, but I don't know how. This also has like a telltale feel to it. Like the Wolf Among Us is the one uh, that I remember playing. It kind of feels like playing like that. You hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I just came I out the bathroom. the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. Black dude. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. That's your job, security. Turn off the alarm. That's right. Go walk your ass over the alarm and turn it off because that's what you do. All right. Thanks, Mr. I forgot your name. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at names, but thanks for that. Here we go. Should we talk? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... Just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Oh, he even knows our name. Or That's have good. Have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. That voice is. Report Nathan hide the truth. Uh, uh, see, this is why we shouldn't play these games. These moments, man, these moments make me nervous because if we report Nathan, we know there's a future consequence of reporting Nathan. Or should we hide the truth? If we hide the truth, it can bite us in the ass later on. I don't know what to do. What should we do? Should we snitch or should we not snitch? If we snitch, he knows we were there. Um, no, reporting Nathan. Nathan's got a gun, yo. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Oh, Nathan boy. Prescott. You sure? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I mean, sir. He was yeah. in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He We're gonna die. Babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? That part I can't tell you. I kind of got to stop there. Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside oh God. with the rest of your We know what's going to happen. He's going to bring Nathan in the room with us. Nathan's going to be like, oh, you saw that, huh? The drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Yes. Yes. He's not going to do anything. We'll handle it ourselves. We're not even going to, because I just feel this is going to go bad for her. So let's just, let's just rewind our story a little bit here. Hey. You look a little strict. Yeah, yeah. Remember when I told you that the whole thing about Nathan? I lied. Hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's I hope the so. Truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. Damn. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. What? Now get outside with class. Please. What? Maybe we're better off keeping our story. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Oh, well, we're living with I it. I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Too much for widening, it's bad for your brain. Let, let's just leave. You know what? We, we've made our bed. Let's lie in it. Oh, time travel, time rewinding, time powers. It's, it's a difficult burden. Oh, 
I'm guessing that's us. All right. So much for the fire alarm. Isn't the, and when you pull a fire alarm, doesn't it like put blue stuff on your hand? So, I mean, maybe not back then, I guess. This is a big campus to explore. No, let's not rewind time. Let's just go see what everybody's doing while the fire alarm's going on. Seemed like you guys were already out here. 